That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. Hey, look, Deadbeats. Hi, what's your name? Crazy. But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Morgan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Calavera, it is indeed... Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Crazy. 
Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah, forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Labor organization and revolt made easy. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of 
production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Yeah. Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's going to make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Come on, don't you guys want to have a free Terry rally? So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm, guess it's up to me. That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. Ugh. I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Somebody really liked this cat. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Red foods for winners. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. Wet foods for winners. Mmm, smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. This cat litter really needs changing. See, this is why I don't have a pet. Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Hey! Looks like a great night for cat races. Looks like a great night for cat races. Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Nobody there. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stop, please. 
What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? Interested in the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. <sighs> Manny. At last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive. We slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well... Catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Looks like it's open mic night. Testing. 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 Good evening. I like to read a poem. My teeth. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. The cracks in my skull. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. Eruption. Skibi baba. Skibi baba. Woman. For what purpose? I am your failure. The and we hear you, Daddy. Mind if I go in? 
You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. It's Olivia Ofrenda. Hey, how about another bomb? Okay, my, my tea. tea. In the, the slaughterhouse of my soul. The cracks in my skull. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. Eruption. Ski, be, ba, ba. Woman? For what purpose? I am your failure. Hey! You stole my poem! Consider it an homage. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. I just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Le numéro gagnant, le 3, rouge, un peu de manque. 3. It's the VIP pass for the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. A note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me. Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. 
Uh, did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system!